Hello everyone, hey there. Today I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ACR Predator Helios 500. The exact model is an PH517-51-97QK. And in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how you can replace the internal battery. If your battery is not holding a, any more charge or you simply want to disconnect the battery, use it without the battery, that's which is fine which make the charger last a little longer. It won't overheat as much. And you can pretty much people always keep asking, can I use it without the battery? Sure you can, there's no problem in it. And if you wanna remove it, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it or replace it. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop and you wanna flip it upside down. You wanna grab yourself a screwdriver set. You're gonna be using an iFixit screwdriver set. And we are gonna use Phillips number one from this tool set. Next, we want to remove the service cover right in here. The only screws that we're going to be removing are these two screws and that'll be all. To remove them, keep them in one pile. Make sure you don't mismatch them. Actually, you can mismatch them. They are the same size, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my video, you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It motivates me make, to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once you remove these two screws, all you need to do is put your fingernails right at this cover right in here, and you want to pull it really hard upward and remove this service cover right there. And then right away, you're going to see the battery right in here. The model for the battery is an AP17C5P, and I'll try to get a link for this one, and I'll leave it in my video description in case you guys need it. To remove the battery, you want to put your fingernails at the side of the jack right in here and you want to pull it backwards evenly just like that once you disconnect this battery and you want to grab it from the front side bring it up a little bit and then pull it towards yourself and that's it there's no screws or anything for this battery once you get the new one make sure the red cable is facing to the right and the black cable is towards the left side so you don't want to put it down like this you always want to make sure the positive, which is the red ones, are towards the SSD drive, this side to the right. Before we put the battery in its place, we're going to put it in an offset position just like that, so we have more room to play around. Uh, or other way you can find out, which is the pins, the exposed pins, has to be facing down towards the motherboard. But the best is to know that the positive is towards the right side. And you want to bring it evenly, Again, I'm going to repeat myself evenly towards the jack. Don't go sideways or anything like that. You want to evenly push it and pretty much pinch them to get it right through there. Next, you want to put this front end of by the cable right under the scoop it right in there. And then bring the back, just set it down flat. And that's it. The next is to grab the bottom cover, put the front end down, and then you want to squeeze down. You want to hear those click sounds. And that should be all. And the last thing down here will be to put the bottom two screws. Where something very important about the new battery is very, very important that how you're gonna do your first cycle of the battery. It's if you wanna if you want your new battery to last you a little longer. The best way of to using the initial charge, it should be on an off state. So make sure you do not turn on the laptop, put the new battery, only plug in the charger and let it sit there for at least five to six hours. After five to six hours, you wanna power on the laptop without the charger, make sure you disconnect the charger, power it on, and let the battery drain slowly. Don't put any gaming or anything like that. Make sure it slowly drains down over the few hours. Once it's drained after three to four hours, whatever hour you get, you wanna power it off, and then you wanna plug in the charger, and you wanna let the set it there for another five to six hours. After that, you can just use it as you wish. But those first, this charger and charging is really, really important. All right, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.